Hello, friends, and welcome back to another episode of Emmett's Classroom of Shenanigans. We have a very, very special episode this week. Today, if you didn't know it, is Dia de los Muertos, also known as Day of the Dead. The Day of the Dead is a two-day celebration. It's usually on November 1st and November 2nd, and it's traditionally a Mexican holiday that is celebrated in lots of other parts of the world now. What Dia de los Muertos is, is a celebration of the dead. It's a celebration of our loved ones or friends that we may have lost. And what happens is on this day, on these two days, families and friends gather either at their houses or at uh, the grave sites of their lost ones. And they set up these things called ofrendas. And ofrendas are altars. And an altar, altar is something that is a little space where someone can put some special items so that one can pay homage or uh, honor something or someone. And so at these ofrendas, what the families will put are flowers, marigold flowers, which are very important, and we're going to be drawing them soon. They put flowers, they burn incense, they put food, and most importantly, sugar skulls. So we're going to be drawing sugar skulls today. Sugar skulls are just what they sound like. They are little skulls that are made of sugar and some other stuff. And it's been a long tradition that they make these little sugar skulls to represent the soul or the person that passed away. And they're often decorated with icing and frosting, feathers, beads, a lot of fun stuff. The goal is to make them really bright and really exciting because it's a way to celebrate our friends or loved ones that passed away. Instead of it being so much of a sad occasion, it's more of a celebration. And I think that's pretty cool. So we're here to honor that tradition, honor this Mexican holiday, and we're gonna draw some sugar skulls ourselves. I'm pretty excited. I hope you guys are too. As you can see, I have my fun little celebratory backdrop got my fun little scarf and most importantly you guys may recognize I've got a stormtrooper and he's colored and drawn like a sugar skull how cool is that all right friends so to get started we need to go over the supplies so if you didn't read in the comment section what you're gonna need, you can hear me now, and then you can pause if you want and go get everything you need. It's pretty simple though. As always, you're gonna need two pieces of paper. Reason you're gonna need two pieces is because if you use the markers or Sharpies, if you're allowed to, you need two pieces of paper so the marker doesn't bleed through and get on uh, that real nice dining table that you're drawing on. I've got two pieces of paper right there. See? One and two. But I'm drawing on the wall. Two pieces of paper. You're gonna need... Holy moly, look at how big that is. You're gonna need a pencil. It's as big as my head. You don't need that big of a pencil. Whoa! That one doesn't have an eraser, but this is a very important part. You are gonna need an eraser. Got some fun music. 
to play while we draw. So, eraser. Pencil with eraser. Very important. So if you make any mistakes, you can just erase away and fix it. So, two pieces of paper. Get that pencil out of here. I don't need that big one. Two pieces of paper. One pencil. Sharpie. If your adult will allow you to use one. But remember, two pieces of paper. Don't stain the table. And then you're going to need markers, crayons, sharpies, colored pencils, whatever you want to use to color your sugar skull. But the key is try to make them really bright. See, I got some really bright colors here. Because like I said, these sugar sp skulls are supposed to be bright and fun and celebratory. So, two pieces of paper, pencil with an eraser, markers, um, you know, crayons, if you got them. Hello. Look at that big crayon. That thing is huge. Get out of here. And, uh, the two other important items you're going to need from the kitchen. Whoa. You're going to need a kitchen bowl. A large one, large kitchen bowl. We're gonna trace around that. Then you're gonna need a cup, small cup, hopefully without a handle, because we're gonna be tracing around that as well. So any kind of cup, glass, just be careful. Then we're gonna get started. So. We are gonna draw a sugar skull today. And first thing you're going to want to do is to have your paper up and down, just like that. Some of you kids call it a uh, hot dog these days, because I guess you can fold it like a hot dog. The other way is a hamburger, because you can fold it. I don't know. You kids these days. But uh, make sure your paper's like that. And then you're going to use both hands. You're going to grab your bowl in one hand and your pencil in the other hand. And then we're gonna trace around this bowl onto the paper. But very key, important part, draw lightly. I always tell my students, and sometimes they forget, very key, important part of drawing is to draw lightly, especially when you're getting started. So if you make a mistake, you can erase it easily, get rid of the eraser boogers, <laughs> and uh, redraw what you wanted to draw. So draw lightly. I'm gonna draw a little bit harder so you can see what I'm doing. But you at home, try to draw lightly. I'm gonna move you a little bit closer here. Weep, 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 weep. Okay, so as you can see, the bottom of the paper is here. Top is right there. You're going to grab your bowl, you're going to put it on the piece of paper, almost towards the top. Leave a little bit of room there, okay? I've got this fun little pom-pom in the way, but he'll be okay. He's got a heart. We're not moving him. He's awesome. Apparently he's a he. I don't know. All right, so put your bowl on the piece of paper towards the top. You're going to hold your hand on the bowl. Hold it tight. Then with the other hand, you're going to trace around the bowl. Okay? Take your time. You got all the time in the world. You can even pause. Power of YouTube, huh? All right. Trace around that bowl. At that point, I'm going to shift Move my hand and keep tracing. And look at that. We got a perfect circle. Is it looking like a skull yet? Eh, kinda. Not really, but sort of. So, once you have your perfect circle there, 
we're going to draw the jaw. We're going to draw the jaw. So you're going to go all the way down here. Now hopefully you drew that lightly because we're going to be erasing a little bit of it. Not yet, but soon. So you're going to start with your pencil almost towards the bottom of the circle. Okay? And then you're going to draw essentially three rainbow shapes. You're going to draw a small rainbow shape coming out here, a long rainbow shape there, and another little rainbow shape there to finish it off. I would make the side ones not too, too much of an arc. You know, make them a little, little flat like that. You'll see. Here we go. So right towards the bottom, take your pencil. Not full arc. Big smile shape. Not a rainbow. That'd be an upside down rainbow. Smile shape. And then bring it all the way back over. Okay. So hopefully it looks like that. Kind of looks like a canoe. So when you're happy with that, we are then going to draw the teeth and then we'll do the rest. So, the teeth, you can leave this line for now. The teeth is going to be six rainbows and six smiley faces right underneath it. You'll see what I'm talking about. You're going to start right over here on the left side and you're going to draw six rainbows. Try to make them all look the same if you can. We're drawing the top part of the teeth. Okay, follow along. One, two, three, four, five, six. Should we do seven? Let's do seven. Lucky number seven. Sounds good. Seven. Okay, hopefully your rainbows look like that. And now, you're going to draw smiley faces the exact same way on the bottom. A good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, siete, which is seven in Spanish. So, if you're happy with that, and I'm happy with mine, I could make mine a little more symmetrical. See how that kind of goes over there? But I kind of like the little extra chin he's got. It's almost like he's grinning, kind of. I'm going to leave it, but if you want yours to look perfectly symmetrical, I would bring that up just a little bit more. Now, this is where... Hopefully, you didn't draw too hard and you got your eraser. All you need to do now is erase the little line there and the little line right there where it originally connects to that canoe shape. Get those boogers out of there. Bad eraser. Jeez. Okay. Okay, so now we've got the teeth, and now, oh, excuse me, we are going to draw the nose right there, right above the teeth, right in this little area here. We're going to make everything a little bit lower, so we have lots of space up here to draw some fun stuff. So, nose goes right there, and the nose is an upside down heart. So if you guys didn't know how to draw a heart, I'll show you real quick. So a heart, you're gonna draw a rainbow, a rainbow, stop there, and then draw a line diagonal down and a line diagonal up. And there you go, that's a heart. So now we're just gonna do the reverse. 
So we're going to draw two smiley faces. And then you're going to connect them right in the middle. There we go. Who knows how far this goes? It goes pretty far. All right, friends, let's move along, shall we? So now we're going to draw the eyeballs. This is where you're going to need your cup. So grab your cup, you're going to do the same thing. You're just going to put it on the table and then trace around it. So we're going to put this eyeball just slightly up and to the left of the nose. But we're still going to have it hang over the nose a little bit because remember we want to have some fun stuff up there. So. Wherever you feel comfortable with it, put it down. Remember, be careful, especially if it's glass. Put the cup, make sure it's secure. Hold it tight, not too tight, and then trace around it. Looking pretty fun. Now you're going to do the exact same thing. Zoop, right on over here. The other side. And just to let you know, you want to leave a little room over there. You don't want it to touch the edge of the skull. You want a little extra space. A little room for the eyeball to groove. Something. I don't know. All right. So... Move your cup, try to make it symmetrical right on to the right side. Now you're just seeing the back of my head. And there we have it. All right. So now we've got the basics of a sugar skull. So now is where the fun creative stuff can happen. And I'm going to just show you a few different things that you can draw inside or around the sugar skull and then leave it up to you however you want to draw it and color it. So as I talked about earlier, marigolds are very important in the Day of the Dead. Marigolds are often uh, the Aztec uh, society often thought that marigolds represented the sun because of their bright shiny color. They're a very bright shiny flower and they represented the sun which helped the deceased uh, move back and forth from uh, this world into the next world. And so if you've seen the movie Coco, that really cool bridge with all those beautiful orange flowers, those are supposed to be marigold petals. And so uh, you'll see marigolds a lot. If you want to know how to draw a marigold, well, I'm about to do a couple right now. You often see them in the inside of the eyeballs of the sugar skulls. So one more thing I'm going to do, and this is where you kind of test your own drawing skills. I'm going to draw another small circle inside of that circle. This is where you can take your time, try to get it exactly the right distance from the big circle all around. I'm going to do mine now. That's okay if it's not perfect. Take your time and just practice. That's why you're drawn lightly and have your eraser ready. But also, if you're using a Sharpie, Sharpies often uh, cover up pencil lines pretty well. So you'll want it to look like that. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side.
Okay. I'm going to give everybody a minute. Take your time. Okay, so I got a little more music ready for us because we are just flying by on this fun lesson here. Want to make sure that we got some great music. All right, friends. So hopefully you got your eyes there, you got your nose, you got your teeth, jawline, big skull. And now we're going to draw the marigold. So key of the marigold, and I'll even draw one over here. You have a circle right in the middle, small little circle. And then the best way to describe the petals is to kind of make it look like a raindrop. And you're going to have them be symmetrical. So you're going to draw one raindrop at the top, the exact same one at the bottom. One on the left, same size on the right. And then you're going to draw four in between. So I'll show you real quick and then feel free to pause and you can practice. So like I said, raindrop shape. You're gonna go diagonal left, bring it up, curve at the top, curve back over, diagonal down. Should look like that. And then after this, it's gonna kind of look like an airplane wing. So with this one, Diagonal out, bring it back in, round the bottom, curve back to the inside, diagonal towards the inside. We're going to do the same thing over here. And they don't have to be perfect. I bet, uh, bet they're looking awesome. I draw a few more. Okay, so that's what a marigold looks like. Basic shape. I'm sure you've seen them before. It's like a basic flower drawing. You guys know how to draw flowers. So I'm going to draw two inside of the eyeballs. Here we go. Sometimes I draw these others a little bit smaller, these four in the in-between places. Just for a little variety. Hope you guys are having fun doing this, drawing along. I haven't done a video in quite some time and I'm excited to be back. This world's been pretty crazy. And sometimes you just gotta draw. At least I do. And it's even cooler if I get to teach. Alright, we've got our marigolds. So, hearts are important. Marigolds are important, and then it's kind of up to you what you want to do. Uh, sometimes diamonds you'll see in sugar skulls. If you don't know how to draw a diamond, it's kind of like a square, tilted. You draw a diagonal, 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 diagonal. Diagonal, 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 diagonal. Um, sometimes uh, you'll see like a big long raindrop shape, and I'm just going to do that right on the sugar skull. You'll see, whoa! And then I'm going to draw one over here. So this is a key part of drawing a sugar skull if you want it to look like a lot of other sugar skulls. There's always symmetry, except for the middle place. 
So whatever you see on this side should be reflected onto the other side. So now I gotta draw this big shape, whoa, over there. Okay, I think he's looking pretty cool. Now, I think, let's give him some dots. So another thing you see often in sugar skulls is these really fun little dots. And I'll show you what I mean. Well, they're dots. But you can make some bigger or some smaller. So I'm gonna draw one right there. And maybe a little one. Big one right there. Big one. Little one. Big one. We're gonna change up our marker. Okay, and I want to draw a few in between his eyes. We're going to do a little one, big one, little one. And you'll see these often in sugar skulls. And they're just a fun way to decorate your skull. I often do three because it's always good to draw in odd numbers. There's one, two, three. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, our little friend here, we might have to put up there just for now. Just so we can see the fun stuff at the top. Okay, moving along. So, at this point you can uh, put whatever shapes you want. I'm thinking we need a shape right there. I'm thinking a diamond. And at this point I think I'll just mostly draw with my marker. Um, it's up to you if you want to keep drawing with your pencil. You might want to in case you make mistakes. But I'm pretty confident, so I'm just going to draw with my marker. Okay, we got a little diamond there. Okay, so I think I'm going to put a big flower on top of his head since we've been talking about the marigolds. So if you want to do yours like mine, follow along. So you're going to start at the very top. And you're going to just draw a smiley face from the left to the right side. Here we go. Okay. And then I want to have a couple different colors in that. So I'm going to draw another smiley face on the inside of that one. Here we go. Okay, and to now make it look like a marigold flower, we're gonna have these little bumps. So you're just gonna draw a bunch of smiley faces again. And try to make it symmetrical if you can. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. Now we're starting to look like a sugar skull, huh? Okay, let's see. So we've got a heart, we've got one diamond, and we've got some of those long raindrops. I'm gonna draw a couple more of the long raindrops, but I'm gonna have them go, no, I'm gonna have them keep going this way. All the way around the eye. Now he's looking excited, he's like, whoa, what's happening here? Remember if you draw with a marker, make sure it dries. He got a little dirty. You can't see it anyway. All right, here we go. Yeah, he's looking, he's pretty happy. Okay, and now this is where you can continue those dots. So we had a small one there. So now, big one in the middle. And a little small one. Big one in the middle. And a little small one. And look at that perfect little cove. I think I'm gonna make up my own shape. I'm gonna make like an ice cream cone shape. Watch this. We're gonna do rainbow in a diagonal. Yeah, so it's like a rounded triangle. Okay, he's starting to look good. I think I'm gonna put a few more things down here. You put whatever you like. 
And then we're going to let it dry real quick, get this thing colored, and call it a day. Because you guys have been doing such a good job, waiting patiently. It's already been 30 minutes. Here we go. This is where you can trace your pencil lines now, friends. Get the whole thing traced. If you're allowed to use a marker or a Sharpie, do that. If not, maybe a dark colored pencil, dark crayon. And remember, you got that erase line, so you're not going to keep drawing all the way through. You're going to stop. down up just trace around the whole thing All right, friends, I'm just going to keep tracing this, and then I'll color it, but I'll do that later. And what I'll do is I'll post a picture of it in the comments so you can see what the final thing looks like. The final product, the final sugar skull. Hope you had a great time, friends. I know I did. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. Emmett's Classroom of Shenanigans. Definitely share it. Share it as much as you like. I'll be posting this on Pajama Jam. The Pajama Jam Facebook page. That's the kids band I'm in. And uh, hopefully we'll do more of these. And I'll even do some live ones on Facebook as well. All right. Tough. Yay! We have a Sugar Skull, friends! There it is. Hope you all had an amazing time. I'm sure it was super fun. I'm probably still going to put something there. An artist's work is never done. But hopefully always super fun. So, enjoy your drawing. We did Sugar Skulls today to celebrate Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. Look it up on the internet. If you don't know much more about it, watch Coco. Fantastic movie. One of my favorites. And 
keep drawing, be kind to everybody and yourself, and uh, know that uh, I'm here for you. My love to you, Internet. Keep drawing. Farewell. Good night.